weighing 6'2", 220, 57 years old. I may be a little older and bigger than the intended use, which is probably a 10-year-old, 80-pound rider. But man, this thing's an absolute hoop. My inner child definitely was alive and well today. As soon as I saw this thing, I was like, I can't wait to ride it, man. These things are such a hoot. They freaking haul ass. The power to weight ratio on this little 60. Six-speed transmission, very simple, classic Honda. It's just been gone through by the techs here at the New England Motorcycle Museum at Kaplan Cycles, and it's a ripper. It's starting to rain out, so let's bring it inside and give it a full review. shrunk down CR480. It looks so much like the Big Brother. Uh, it, it, the dimensions are all correct when you stand back and, and look at this thing from the, the rear profile. It just looks right. Uh, it only looks small when you put a six footer like me on it, but imagine being a 10 year old kid having this thing back in 84. Super simple to work out on air cool, six speed. It, 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 the engine feels like it has the power of an 80, but it's a 60. This was this thing was ahead of its time for sure. Starting at the front of the bike, the original chrome rims in mint condition. It's got a brand new front tire on it and tube. The brakes have been surfaced. You can see the fork tubes are in mint condition, as are the fork sliders. The front brake cable's in good condition. It's got a brand new front fender on it, uh, brand new number plate. It's got a brand new set of Renthal handlebars on here with the ODI lock-on grips. Uh, has a new Renthal crossbar pad. We actually put a new throttle assembly on here with the tube and the new grip. Uh, bars of crossbar pad, a new free flow, free flow hose, uh, tank breather. Uh, the previous owner had painted the gas tank. We had completed it. We're putting some new graphics on there. It's got a new seat cover on it. We just put a new rear fender on it, new side panels, and it's got a full custom Steiger number plate uh, kit on it with the side number plates, the uh, swing arm pro link graphics, the tank, and the front number plate. Those are all custom done by Steiger Designs. It shows the Honda 60R on there. Just a beautiful red and white color combo with the yellow Honda wing. The frame has been repainted, the engine's been repainted, the exhaust has been taken off and repainted. The carb, the tank has been cleaned on the inside. It has a new fuel pedcock, new fuel lines. The carb's been rebuilt. It's got a brand new air filter on it. The, the engine has 125 PSI. We did not rebuild it. The engine's never been apart. It's a low hour survivor. We just did all the things that I told you that we did. Uh, the shock has also been replaced with a works performance shock. Uh, one of the best modifications you could ever possibly do to one of these bikes. Huge, huge uh, improvement. This bike could be raced as it sits. Right now it's ready to go to the races. The rear tire is a brand new matching Dunlop to the front tire. It has a, let's show them the hairy nubs on the tires, Ronnie. Zoom in there, you can see it's still got the hairy nubs on the tires. Um, and uh, it's only been up and down the driveway a couple times. Brand new chain on this side. Uh, it has new, new rear brake pads. Um, the original pegs, shifter, everything's intact on the bike. Has a nice set of uh, shorty, uh, short reach uh, levers on here. Uh, new clutch cable, new throttle cable. Bike's been gone through, and I think the performance speaks for itself. It hauled my big ass up the driveway. I had to try not to wheelie it. I don't like wheeling in 60s because I'm so big, I can't really react, and, and it's easy to flip one over. Um, you'd be surprised. A lot, a lot of adults uh, think these are, you know, it's a 60. What can happen? Well, this thing will launch out from underneath you quicker than, uh, than you can imagine. All the hoses, the brain, the drain hoses, the fuel line are all new. Um, I've got an extensive work order listing everything I said that was done to the bike uh, with a total of, uh, let's see, $2,776 with parts and labor. She's a beautiful piece. Very, very, very hard to find these vintage motocross minis in this kind of condition. Usually they're beaten into submission by hyperactive kids that just want to ride, ride, ride. And they end up getting blown up and uh, it's not economically feasible to, to rebuild them. Um, if you can't find a, you know, you can't do it yourself, you gotta pay a shop 100 bucks an hour to do it, it adds up quick. To do a, a full restoration like this on a bike, you'd probably be looking, well, minimum 
minimum $2,776. That's what our work order is looking at. And that's if you have a good starting point. You can easily drop four or 5,000 into one if you've got to redo a lot of the other components. If you look at the frame rails on here, Ronnie, take a look at them frame rails. You can see uh, these are in mint condition. Just a couple scuffs from being on the stand, that's it. Uh, the original exhaust system's in excellent condition. That's been repainted. Uh, the original baffle is intact um, in, in place. The uh, frame rails on this side are nice and straight also. So um, just a rare mint original survivor that uh, has been massaged to perfection here by the staff at Kaplan Cycles. If you have any questions about it, give us a call, 454-7024. This will be on display in the Honda section of the museum uh, until it finds a new home. So uh, give us a call if you have any questions. Um, the paint job on the tank uh, was a um, decent looking. It's got one little defect on this side right here where, where uh, the paint's like, uh, got a little defect mark in it, but I mean that could easily be repainted. Um, like I said, a lot to like about this bike and it hauls ass. It, it runs better than it looks and, 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 that, and it looks great. So it runs like a brand new motorcycle. If you have any questions, give us a call 860-454-7024. The works performance shock is, is, is considerably better than a stock one. It, it um, Usually the stock shocks bottom out as soon as I sit on them. So it, it, the forks work beautifully. If you've got a kid who wants to race vintage motocross, well, your ship just came in, buy this bike and, and uh, bring him to the line, it's ready to go. Thanks for watching. Uh, God bless America.